All right, I wanted to do a real quick rundown on this day hiking kit that I've been putting together and, and messing around with. This is uh, all based on using a Maxpedition Jumbo. Um, I've had Maxpedition Jumbos in the past, had a few of them. Uh, they're definitely very versatile bags. They can carry a lot of stuff. And one issue you will run into these is that you can de definitely overstuff them and carry way too much stuff and then it becomes very uncomfortable. But if you are sensible about it and take your time and lighten your load a little bit, it can be a really comfortable day pack, uh, haversack, shoulder bag, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I've been looking for um, a new haversack style bag to carry this summer. And I've been trying this one out and I've been really digging it. Um, of course, I've done some reviews of other shoulder bags and haversacks that I've carried and tried and have, and some of them work great, and some of them I just felt needed uh, tweaked a little bit, and this is what I've landed on currently, and I wanted to share this with you and, and basically show you kind of what I can carry in this thing and what it's capable of. Now, the Jumbo, it's been around for a really long time. Uh, it's definitely one of Maxpedition's flagship products. Um, it's probably one of the first things they came out with was something like this. And then once it came out, it really changed uh, the industry because a lot of people started copying it. And uh, so there's lots of clones and, and bags that look like the Jumbo or are styled after it, but none are quite as robust and feature rich as this thing. Um, and it's still a great bag to, to go back and check out. So for a summer day kit, I really am thinking about uh, just the basics uh, that's going to keep me comfortable while I'm outside. You know, the five C's are always a great place to start from building a kit around because that really covers the basics. Uh, so this is what I carry in mind. So on the bottom here, I have a strap to the bottom is a Bushcraft Outfitters Mest Poncho slash tarp. So this poncho can actually be used as a small 5x9 tarp uh, or used as a rain poncho. And the way I have this attached right now is I've got uh, paracord and I'm using Canadian jam knots. So two pieces of paracord with Canadian jam knots and those just slip in to the webbing that's on the bottom of the pack. Up top, there's a compartment up here, and this is where I just carry some quick grab items. I have a headlamp that I can attach to the bill of my cap, got some lip balm, and then a butane lighter. Of course, the side pocket is designed for a water bottle. This is a 32 ounce Stanley, and uh, the reason I chose this water bottle is because. It actually has its own built-in cup, stainless steel single wall cup, so I can detach this and actually boil water if I need to. So if I'm not carrying a canteen cup of any sorts, I still have this to boil water. And it's just a, it's a really nice uh, water bottle because it actually fits in uh, a cup carrier of my truck and holds 32 ounces and has a stainless steel body for boiling. So it's definitely a bonus. Now the back pocket here, this is really designed for CCW and carrying a pistol. Now I don't carry a pistol um, in a bag or off my body. So if I'm carrying a pistol, it's gonna be on my person. It's not gonna be inside of a bag. Now this is nice to store a pistol for transport. Uh, but other than that, I don't use it for that. So there's a lot of room back here. I would use this for maps. Um, for you know brochures literature things that you pick up when you're maybe on vacation or on a hike trail maps and then I keep a couple large baggies just to uh, collect water or to you know pick up items that I'm foraging for whatever it just get it, it's a versatile item to have so a couple good sized baggies are nice to have in your kit On the side here, it has a nice slip pocket that's deep enough to carry my Mora Companion. And that's just in a Kydex sheath. Slips in there nicely. And then on the side, pretty generous pocket right here. 
I've got uh, my Ranger Grip, Victorinox. I did a review on that. If you want to check that out, great pocket knife. Lots of tools on it. Has a saw built into it, a good size saw. So if I need to cut down some branches for you know for a small fire, I can certainly do that with this. Great for woodworking too. Projects around camp. And then I also have uh, just a small first aid kit in here. This is just uh, boo-boos and owies kind of stuff. This flat pocket I usually keep open. I don't put anything in here. This is I, I will slide my phone or my wallet in here if I need to. Now this front pocket has a slip pocket, and I've got my my spork and my uh, Lost Wild canteen cup lid. And then here is more of an admin panel. So I've got uh, my field notes and a zebra pen. I carry a uh, Silva pocket compass or wrist compass just in case some reading glasses because I'm getting old <laughs> and a sharpie large bandana and then uh, charging cube for my uh, phone oh and then I also carry the ATAX A1S flashlight. I owe you guys a review on this thing. It's really a nice flashlight. Awesome. Very affordable. And bright as the sun, let me tell you. Oh, and there's a key keeper here, but I never put my keys on these things, but I do keep a little, uh, a little mini light, task light, and then a whistle just in case. So tons of room in this pocket. It's still pretty empty. Like I said, you don't want to carry a ton of stuff in this in this bag, or it will just get way overloaded, and you will suffer. And that's I think that's for any haversack. You really got to be careful what you carry. So this is a summer loadout. So I'm carrying deep woods off. Definitely needed in my woods. Uh, just a bag of coffee and sugar and creamer and tea. My Espit stove, which goes in this uh, this military bandage pouch, and then this is uh, a little bit of cordage with some beaners on it and some night eyes quick cams that I use on the poncho to make it into a tarp, so I can set it up pretty quickly. Additional cordage for tie outs. This is my ferro rod. This is a uh, light my fire army version. It's the big one. You can see it's been pretty well used. And uh, I just have it set up on a uh, lanyard that I I tied up myself. This is a uh, two strand twist, 550 paracord, and then. Um, Did some binding on it with some smaller accessory cordage and just have that on a night eyes hook yes beater and then a larger one so i can attach it to my belt always have a ferro rod in my kit no matter what and here is a very small little fire kit that i put together just has a couple essentials, so there's some Gorilla Tape, a couple pieces of fat wood, some Aquamira water purification tablets, uh, petroleum cotton ball uh, mixture in this little medicine uh, bottle, and then some quick tenders. I think that's all that's in there. 
So there's enough things in here to start a fire. And of course the tape for some repair if I need to. So that's all that's really in here except I have my cup. Now this cup doesn't nest or fit in the water bottle pocket. The cup actually fits inside the main compartment and then I put the food or the, the coffee pack and a few other things inside of it and that all contains it. But uh, it's nice to have a coffee cup on the trail. You just never know when you want to you know, stop and make yourself a cup of coffee have some tea, boil some water, whatever. So that's it. That is the contents of my bag. That's what I'm carrying. Besides what I have on my person. I don't need much more than this. I feel this kind of gets me to through pretty much any kind of emergency. You can always carry more stuff, but uh, it's nice carrying less. All right, guys, hope you found this useful. As always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.